Yes, welcome back to the six o'clock show where we've done a very quick costume change. Of course we had, because... As, as you might have noticed... When an Irish person or team starts doing well, we all support them, just like, remember, we all became expert rowers when the O'Donovan brothers yeah. did so well in the Olympics? Yeah. This is, of course, for Dundalk FC. Yeah, we're come on, because... Uh, look, look, we know we've all got our team that we support, but yes. at a time like this, when we have an Irish team in the group stages of a big European competition... We got to back them. We got to be supportive. This is a huge thing, and we're suckers for a good underdog story. And it's a case of David taking on Goliath as Irish football club Dundalk FC head into the Europa League to take on some of the world's best. So, as we said, we're getting behind our own tomorrow night, and no one is more excited about it than our next guest, who's described by her fellow Dundalkians, if that's what they are, yes, as the heartbeat of the town. Please welcome Jane McDermott to the six o'clock show. Woo! <laughs> Uh, like uh, we have to, we have to acknowledge the what's behind you, Jane. That's a pretty impressive room that you're in. Oh yeah, we. This is how we have the house decorated all the time. You know, we're constant on Doc FC all the time here. Well, we did a lot of calling around to find the Dundalk FC super fan, Jane, and everyone called you as we mentioned the heartbeat of the town. So, how long have you been supporting Dundalk for? I suppose um, since I really, since I started school, really from being that age, that age, Marin, uh, it's always been kind of a big, a big thing in the house here. We've done talk FC all the time. My dad started going to the games in the since 1960, you know, and it's since I was born. Done talk FC have been here, you know. You describe it as a love affair, don't you? Because it gets quite intense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it gets very intense. Absolutely, yes, it does. Okay. It sure does. It, you have your highs, which we have mostly, and then you have to deal with some of the lows too. But mainly it's the highs. We're very lucky as a club. Well, the next few weeks is going to be a real high. I mean, how, do you, how, how, like, how are you feeling as, as Dundalk gets set to go into the group stages of the Europa League? I know they've been there before, but this time Arsenal are being lined up as uh, one of your opponents. So how are you feeling as uh, the first game comes into view tomorrow night. Um, excited, really, really excited, proud, very, very proud to, su to support a team that have got this far. We're the only League of Ireland team still there, Martin. You know, it's amazing for the club, it's amazing for the town, it's amazing for the people, the staff, the players, everybody that puts so much into the club. Yeah, you know, you've been supporting them all your life, as you said, and hopefully uh, in the weeks ahead, there'll be many, many more highs uh, for, for the league and indeed for your favourite club. Uh, but what has been your standout memory so far? Well, there's lots of standout memories, but um, where I sit at the sideline in Oriel, you know, we're, we're beside the dugout and... Um, Things can get very passionate, things can get very animated, you know, and we all have an opinion of, of things and, you know, you can forget that the players and the managers can say and you're saying, oh God, now would I have made that change or would I do that, you know, so when your favourite player might come off, you can get a bit annoyed, you know, then you have to think, well, it's for the best for the team, you know, they're resting players, and but it can get very passionate, you know, and you get very excited and then you're sitting going, oh God, everybody can see me. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's good. Fun, but. Does everyone know you in Oriel Park from where you sit and shouting at the team and kind of giving strategy, Jane? <laughs> Like it's the disabled area, so there's obviously a group of us there, you know. But uh, yeah, you'd be, you know, I'd be very vocal about how I feel about the about the team and how the club and the performances, you know. And you have healthy debates with people. You might think somebody had a bad night or a good night, and vice versa. So the banter is great. It's a real community club, and there's real fun. And you know, you could be going down the town, you know, especially coming up to the big games, and you'd hear people shouting out the window, "Come on, the town!" And you know, it's great. It's great. Now, hang on a minute. Are you saying, Jane, that as players are leaving the pitch? and they've had a bad game, you're going to tell them exactly how you feel. Oh, no, Martin, I'd never do that. <laughs> no, no, no. It'd be constructive <laughs> criticism. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. We all have to take criticism. constructive criticism in our jobs at times, so... OK. So, I mean... It's, it's, you know, we have friendly banter at the end, you know? There you go. And with all of this, I suppose... Jane, everyone's sort of feeling quite emotional and emotions are all over the place at the moment with the situation and what's going on in Ireland and around the world with the pandemic. For you, is sport and getting to see games like this, is it giving you a much needed boost? Absolutely. 
absolutely it's 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 so good it, you know they say sport is good for mental health and you know you're when your team are doing this good it's exceptionally good for your well-being and you know the encouragement and the excitement and, and the nerves oh, you know how are you like put it like most people most people will be a bit will find it a little bit harder to get to sleep tonight in Dundalk. Will there you? we go. I can I can you imagine. Know. You mentioned there that you are uh, that uh, you sit in kind of the disabled area in Oriel Park. You know that's you're in a wheelchair. You've got spina bifida, and I know that you've done a bit of work. You advocate for there being more accessibility in sports grounds around the country. You use your voice for that, Jane. Yeah, well, I think I think it's very important. I think you know we we should all have equality. You know when we attend any event, whether it's sporting, cinema you know any so but yeah I I think it's very important that now stadiums are accessible we're now in 2020 and I think the financial support has to be filtered down to two clubs two League of Ireland clubs to, to make that more accessible for people inclusion we talk about inclusion all the time and this is a prime example of inclusion and with that you know when you get to talk about these things and you obviously know so many of the fans probably from who support all sorts of clubs in the League of Ireland from them coming to Oriel Park and everything do you have a great sense of community in Dundalk with this team at your centre? Absolutely, absolutely. As I said, you know, you go down the town, you could be going down the street and you could be on your way to a shop and, you you know, you're going on a five minute journey, it could turn into a 25 minute journey because you're (laughs) shopping to interact with with fellow supporters and you're having the crack and you're talking with team selection. You're saying, oh God, the nerves, like, you know, you're sick, you nearly feel like you're going out to play yourself sometimes. You know, the excitement of it. It's just, it's just an amazing feeling. Even seeing the Virgin Media earlier, you know, the build up and speaking to people in the town. Like a lot of people, I got butterflies in my stomach because you're like, here we go. We're going to do it again. And it's going to be amazing. The, the only thing is now, if you're celebrating, you got to do it within your own house. There's no going out in the street. No. Don't. Well, we can go within five kilometres. There you go. You can go out. You can go out and start supporting. Is there something I, now? I live, I don't live five <laughs> well, Jane, you've got to tell us because, of course, the country will be supporting Dundalk or going into the Europa League. It's a huge thing. So what should we be chanting when we're watching the matches on the telly? Well, we have a, we have a chant in Oriel and it's Since I was young, I followed them. Dundalk FC, the team for me. Do, 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 do. So that's our, that would be our, our, t- our tune now. I okay. think everybody be singing that tonight, tonight, Nori, and hopefully on your dog, and hopefully around the country. Swaying? We're, still, still, swaying. Swaying. We're still swaying. Absolutely. We'll learn that chant. Mon the Town Superfan, to town. Jane McDermott. Thank you so much for joining us, Jane. Oh, by the way, we've got a whole lot of goodies as well from Umbro. Oh, yes. By the way, Umbro Ireland found out how big a fan you are of Dundalk and what you do for your community there. And they want to send you out a pile of stuff to add to all of your memorabilia (laughs) for Dundalk FC. So, Jane, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. And thank you, Umbro. Thanks very much for having me. Okay, That wall is going to be very busy once that box arrives. She had a lovely voice. A lovely voice. We all have to learn that for tomorrow night. All six of Dundalk FC's Europa League games will be live here on Virgin Media. It's kicking off tomorrow evening as they take on Norwegian rivals Molde FK on Virgin Media 2 at 5.30. All together now, one, two, three. Molde Town! All right.